Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. So a recent viewer commented and they said that they hoped I had a few plates and out of the ones they named, I actually did have one and it's super natural. So I was just gonna play with these a little bit. I have these tips right here painted already and I had did these a while back for something else and I never got around to using them, but they're gorgeous. It's Thriller B348 from Maniology. It's a really, really gorgeous color. So, and I went ahead and put two layers on and then I put on a gel top coat. So now I'm just going to just stamp some of these random images from the Supernatural plate and I'm going to I'm going to try using the white out from Drunk Fairy Polish and see how it looks over this. Sometimes whites can be a little too transparent. Um, I'm going to be honest. I only watched Supernatural when it very first came out, maybe maybe a couple seasons i don't even remember and then i've never really watched it again but i think i'm going to binge watch it from start to finish soon uh so i had to look up with a lot of the uh the symbols and sigils mean uh yeah i do remember some stuff but not much so I'm just gonna pick a couple of these random in images and put them on. I'm not gonna do any reverse stamping or anything today. And I've never used this plate before. Um, so I don't, I don't really know how it's gonna work. Black definitely wouldn't um, show up over this color very well. So the white shows up, but it's quite transparent. I might try a different white and see if it shows up any better. They have the same version of that symbol, but with the, the actual sigil in the middle instead of the got salt. But I, act, I just, I love the, the little got salt. So that's why I'm using that one. And I just looked it up, and I'm going to be honest, I've already forgot what it is. Um, one of my BFFs is a huge Supernatural fan, so I texted her, and I'm like, what do these images mean? And she's like, ah, oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. And I'm like, loser, if you're a fan, you should know. All right, this white shows up a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and just wipe this one off and see if we can get it. It could be because it's such a big image, maybe. I don't know, but we'll try with this other one to see. And I want I really wanted them like right in the middle. So anyway, when I sent my friend Kim, who was a super fan... Of supernatural she's like she's seen the plate i think she forgot i had it because i told her i had it before but she's like i'm coming over this weekend i don't know if she wants me to do her nails maybe if she does i'll do them for her that hoe pushed me in my own pool a while back when she was visiting we were walking and she just reached out and pushed me in the pool so if I do her nails, I might just jab her a couple times, get her back. Just rah, jab her in the cuticle. 
All right, so it's still got a little transparent in that like middle area. But you get the idea. I mean, maybe I should just do this, like paint some nails white and then just stamp in black so that they show up all the way. But I really love this color. I love these tips and I just really wanted to use them on something cool. So this is what I came up with. Oh, I can't pick it up. And I'm not really sure what this what everything is and I mean I know who Dean and Sam are obviously it's like if you don't know who they are even if you've never watched this show just with the fandom and everything you must be a living in a hole but anyway I don't specifically know who this is oops But we're just going to put it right there. And I did put it far over on the edge so that the falling feathers are falling behind. I'm glad I redid it because this is actually an even better pickup than the first time, so. <clears throat> Much better. I still don't think it's perfectly centered, but it'll do. I may redo that one again. Um, just to see if I can get it a little bit um, more opaque in that bottom part. I just don't like how that shaded area looks. So, And because I have that gel top coat on, I can just... Wipe it off with acetone. Yeah, see, I'm scraping too hard right there. I see exactly what I did. I'm going to try scraping this way. Might give me a little bit better, better pull. I mean, if you're a fan, would you be able to tell what that is? Like, if I showed it to my husband, I don't even know if he would realize it's faces. But he's not, he's not good at um, <laughs> looking at my nail stuff and seeing the details or the whole picture even, <laughs> to be honest. He's just like... <laughs> He always thinks it's something it's not. And then when I tell him, he's like, oh, now I see it. But he's super supportive. He he usually likes everything I do, so I can't complain. I really wish I could get the car on there. I just, I mean, that's a iconic image.
I feel like when I'm recording on my headphones that I'm breathing heavy. I don't I don't know if I am. If it's picking it up, but I hope not. I don't know what y'all think. Desert dust. I feel like this one doesn't go with the rest because the the rest kind of fell up. So let's um take that one off, even though I really like it. It's just too it's too small to go with the rest of them right now. Okay. I don't want all the um surrounding stuff. I just want to isolate the, I'm going to call it the tattoo because everybody has the tattoo. Well, not everybody, but and if you look up supernatural tattoo, this is what comes up. The white could be a little bit more opaque, but I think they're cute. Maybe I'll recreate them on a um, white set with black so it shows up a little better. But I think they're cute. All right, quick and easy nail stamping. Let me know what you think below. Until next time, bye.